Black Sabbath and no stranger to love, I would like to welcome for the first time to Monsters of Rock, Eddie Clark and doing? Dave King from Fastway. Hello, boys. Hi there. Hi, nice to see you. Now, you've just released your third album called Waiting for the Raw. That is correct. But that's your first new project for, what, 18 months? Yep. yep. What have you been doing? Where have you been? Well, after the last album, we had a, a slight disagreement with a couple of members of the band and uh, we parted company. Right, that's so Charlie had, and Jerry. Charlie yeah. and Jerry, yeah, so we had to recruit a new band. Yeah. So we thought we'd go all Irish this time because Dave being such a successful little singer, <laughs> we thought we'd go all Irish. You like the Paddy? Dublin born. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I sure am. So we all talk like that now. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's kind of worked out yeah. pretty good. They're young guys, you the know. The three guys from Stillwood, in fact. Yeah, my old band. Work with. Well, initially what happened was uh, when Eddie was looking for a, a singer with Fastway, yeah. I sent a, a demo tape to him. Right. And the band that were on the demo tape was, in fact, Stillwood. Better than the singer. So, so you've got the three together. Because they've been working together since 78, so they've got to be really tight. You well, they gave up really a little bit. When I left the band, they couldn't. Yeah. They saw it, they said they couldn't get a singer. Yeah. Oh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So uh, they gave up a little bit, but yeah. they're getting tight now. So you're pleased with it? Because this is your new album, as I say. How would you say different the differences were between the last one, All Fired Up, and this one, then? Well, the major the differences, I think, start with the producer, Terry Manning, of course, ZZ yeah. Top fame, and, uh, and Molly Hatchet. Hatchet so, yeah. uh, and also, we, we tried to get a little bit more 1980s, you know, we used yeah. like a few synthesizers yeah. and uh, orchestras and things. An orchestra, I mean. 58 piece orchestra. Mm. Yes, indeed. Why did you decide to use Terry, by the way? Uh, it was just a suggestion of someone in America at the yeah. time. We were, with, uh, we were on tour with Rush. Yeah. And we were in Memphis, and yeah. Westbrook, Terry's hometown. Yeah. And they thought, why don't we get together with Terry and see if we had anything in common? So. At the time, he told me then that he wanted to use fair lights, you know, yeah. to, for the drum sounds and stuff like that. Yeah. And I thought, well, I'll try anything once, you know, because everybody else seems to be using fair lights yeah. and that. Because you really and took a back seat, didn't you, and let him take over? Yeah, very much so, yeah. yeah. Well, I kind of figured, you know, it's, maybe I can learn something for a change. Yeah. So, sort of like, a, here's an eyes open, you know, and keep your mouth shut sort of job. And you, of course, you re uh, recorded it over here in Abbey Road. Abbey, Abbey, Abbey Road, yeah. 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 yeah, it was great. Why yeah. here? Because you, actually, you're very big in America, aren't you? Well, Much more successful than <laughs> yeah, you are yeah, Well, here. yeah, exactly. Well, you know, um, not very big, but uh, we've well, had... Well, you're much more biggish. successful than you are here, Diggers. aren't you? Do you like this word? We had a modicum of success with our... Oh, <laughs> modicum. Modicum's good. Modicum. Keep it. Okay, I'll write that one down. And, uh, well, yeah, we did quite well with the first record, and the second one wasn't so successful, but mm. uh, it was time to try something new. Mm. Mm. Do, you like, do you like making videos? Personally? Yeah. I find it very hard. You do? I do, because yeah. for one thing, you're miming most of the time, mm. and it's, you know, it'd be much better if you were plugged in and you could actually get behind your actions. So you're not an actor? Mm. Not it's really, It's very no. false. You yeah. know, when you're playing live and that, mm. you know, and if you filmed it, mm. it'd look, probably look great, but see. when you're actually know there's cameras and, yeah. and it's like now, and, you know, yeah. but like, it, you just never come across as you want to really. I don't, I find it, I think Eddie finds it. Well, let's have, a, let's have a look at your video from okay. your new album. Actually, do you, want, do you want to announce it? You announce it, Eddie. Yeah. Right, yeah. The okay. world waits for you. The world waits for you from fast when I'm talking to Eddie and Dave. Oh. Going back to the fact that you're more successful in America, is that why we don't see much of you over here? Yeah, I suppose it is really. I suppose we tried to do something in England, it didn't work yeah. out. And somehow the American radio stations picked up on the first single, Easy Living. Right. And. Uh, it seemed a good idea to go over there, and since then, nothing's happened it's gone here. It's up, up, up in America. It's happened over there, so yeah. that's why we're there. So, because all that could change now, though, Dave, couldn't it? Because you've done yeah. a very successful tour mm. with ACDC. Mm. It was fabulous, yeah. You enjoy it? Oh, it was great, yeah. The mm. crowds in Europe are absolutely amazing. Yeah. They were on par with the Americas, actually, you know. Mm. For the reaction-wise, it was great. So, what, you're going to go back to America now? Yeah, two weeks' time. Yeah. Leaving us again? Yeah, After San Antonio. San Antonio. <laughs> Texas, here I we love come. his accent. <laughs> we were saying just before the show that <laughs> Dave and Eddie here look like Cliff Richard and Charles I. Yeah, Charles without his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to the Scorpions video now. This is Rock You Like a Hurricane. Scorpions, Rock You Like a Hurricane. Dave, plans for the next year? Well, till June, maybe we're in America. Right. And hopefully come back to Europe. Do oh. some uh, festivals, some open air festivals. Is that right? You're going to come over and do some. Yeah, gigs? we fancy doing some festivals if we can get on the bills this year. There's, there's a big one in Ireland, Slane Castle, yeah. there's Donington, of course. Sure. Mm -hmm. And the Monsters to uh, uh, Germany has about three or four of them. Great. 
great. Well, we'll look forward to that. Let us know when you're coming back. Come and see us again, yeah? Well done, well Fantastic. Well, okay. thanks for coming to see me today. Lots Thank of you. luck with the sales of the album. It's on CBS in the shops <laughs> now. <laughs> OK, thanks very much. Well, that's just about it for Monsters of Rock this week. I shall see you next week. Don't forget, if you want to win the Monsters of Rock T-shirt, you've got to write to me. And my address is Amanda Reddington, Monsters of Rock, Skytrax, 44 Whitfield Street, London, W1 in England. That's Amanda Reddington, Monsters of Rock, Skytrax, 44 Whitfield Street, London, W1 in England. I await your letters. Here's Wendy O. Williams. It's my life. See ya.